Hey guys, it's Maddie. I'm actually about to head out right now. I just saw in one of my Facebook groups, somebody posted that Beyond Meat is giving out a $2 off coupon. And this is good for any of their Beyond Beef, Beyond Burger or Beyond Sausage products. So I just checked a couple of the stores around my area and I saw that Walmart has the Beyond Beef on sale. So I'm gonna try their first, hopefully they have it in stock. And if not, the store across the street has the sausages. And after that, I'm also gonna try going to No Frills who should have the burgers on sale as well. So I might end up going to three different stores just to get this Beyond Meat haul. And hopefully we get some good Beyond Meat on sale. I haven't had their products in a really long time. I actually really like their products for once in a while treats. I think they taste really good. I really like the company. So let's go to the store and see what we can find. Walmart is a no-go. They don't have to be on beef right now. And that was the only one that was on sale. So we are gonna try another store. They're supposed to have the Beyond Sausage on sale. Hopefully they have it. Second store success. I got two packages. I was only gonna get one package, but then I saw there were different flavors and I just feel like I gotta try both flavors. So luckily the coupon worked. It came out to $6 per package. We're gonna go to one more store and see if we can get that Beyond Beef crumble or the patties. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Okay, let's go. No frills was successful. I got two packages of the burgers. They were on sale for $6 each plus the $2 off coupon, so $4 each. So let's get home, let's see how we cook these up and I'm excited, let's do it. As you can see, the trip was successful. Not on finding all the products, but on most of them. The only thing that I couldn't find was the Beyond Beef, which is like the ground beef substitute. But I was able to find the burgers and the sausages. The sausages, I got two different flavors. This one is hot Italian and this one is mild Italian. I haven't tried either of these yet. And also I was able to get two packages of burgers, which is only four burgers total, but still two packages of burgers. These came out to $4 for each package. So $2 a burger. Anyway, I'm really excited. Like I said, I haven't even tried these products yet. The burger I have tried, I think at A&W a long time ago, like well over a year ago now. I have also tried the Beyond Sausage. Back when Tim Hortons still had the Beyond Meat as their breakfast sausage, I was getting that every once in a while. If you haven't seen that review, I will link that up here. Now Beyond Meat, if you're not familiar with them as a company, I personally really like them. I think that they're doing a really great thing for the vegan movement. They're bringing lots of meat alternatives in plant-based form. And I just think it's amazing what they've done in order for it to taste pretty similar to meat. So just a little more about the company. All their products are soy-free, gluten-free, and non-GMO, which is all amazing. But I think most of their products are actually made with different types of bean protein. For example, this one is pea protein is the main ingredient. And let's check the sausages. The main ingredient is also pea protein. So that's really cool. I feel like, you know, to find a company that's not using soy as the meat replacement is pretty rare and also not using gluten, pretty cool, I think. So it's time for taste test. Also in hindsight, I'm pretty sure that these were supposed to be thawed first because mine's like, pretty frozen still, but that's fine. We're just gonna see how it goes, cooking it directly from the freezer on the stovetop. top. 
So we have a special guest to help me do the taste test. My husband, Q, he just smelled it. And what did you say when you came into the kitchen just now? Smells freaking delicious. Smells freaking <laughs> delicious. What smells does it good. smell like? Uh, smells like barbecue. <laughs> smells like honey mustard barbecue chicken wings. Honey mustard barbecued chicken wings. I do not smell that. Super. I just smell meat. Like it smells like meat. It it's does crazy. smell like meat. It's really crazy. Yeah. You've tried the burger before, right? Yeah. A and W. Okay, so we both had that A and W burger. That was good. Yeah. That was good. I think that was my first time experiencing Beyond Meat, and that was when I was like, whoa, they're pretty close. Mmm. They're like maybe one of the closest ones um, that I've tried before. Where it's like it's pretty good meat. Uh, replacement. Okay, let's cut into these and then one is mild sausage, one is spicy, and one is just plain burger. Let's do it. Okay. Also, these sausages, I think you're supposed to defrost them and I did not. I just went straight from the freezer into the pan. <laughs> that worked, right? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see in about 10 seconds. <laughs> I have to say I'm most excited about the sausage because I was never like a really big meat eater, but I really did like sausage. Okay. My dad used to barbecue it for us and it's just like something about a grilled sausage. My mouth is already watering. I'm so sausage. excited. Would you like a fork? Uh, nope. You're going to use your finger. Oh, okay. And we've got time for that. <laughs> what do you want to try first? What do you want to try first? I'll try the burger first. Okay, let's do it. There is something about the texture of this burger that tastes like a real burger. Oh That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm curious of the sodium content. It's kind of salty. Let me check that for you. Please. So one burger patty is 270 calories, 18 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, and 390 milligrams of sodium. And they also threw a bunch of like vitamins and minerals in there, so that's cool. There's like Iron, potassium, calcium, vitamin C, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12, magnesium, zinc, and copper. I think that's good. <laughs> it is good. That's good. That's really good. I mean, B12, we all know that's pretty hard to get in any natural sources. So I, I like that they're putting that in here. For both meat eaters and vegans. Yes, thank you. I don't think people know that. <laughs> that's true, some people don't. Uh, let's do this sausage next. How long did you take this off the <laughs> stove? Maybe 10 minutes ago. It's oh. cold, yeah. Oh, you think it's because I cooked it from the freezer? Yeah, because because it, the middle might have just thawed uh, and therefore it's just liquidy. True, 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 true. Maybe if you thawed it properly and then cooked it, then it might have a little bit better texture. I think that's why they put it in the instructions, to thaw it. Maybe. Not as good as the burger for you, I can tell. Right. The burger is better for me. Okay. Alright, let's try the last one. It's okay. Mm. It'll fulfill my craving for sausage. Yes. If I really want to barbecue something, mm -hmm. I grab a couple of these sausages or burgers, put it on the barbecue, and I'll eat it and that'd be, that'd be great. I wouldn't be like, oh man, this is a vegan sausage. Mm. Because I've had some really bad vegan sausages. Mm. Have you? Yeah. Oh. The burger is good. Mm. The burger's good. That's your favorite so far? Mm hmm I'm so surprised too. I really like sausages. Mm, me too. I'm so surprised. And they look so good. Mm. They looked really juicy and everything. But it might be because of how you cooked it. It might be because of how I cooked it. <laughs> so I'd like to try it. Cooked properly? Pro <laughs> properly. <laughs> cooked. Hey man, I didn't know you can't just take things straight from the freezer That's and fine. throw it in a pan. Well, now you know. I actually really liked the flavor of the spicy sausage, but I did think the texture was kind of lacking. Okay, final thoughts. Uh, first is burger, and the next two are toss-up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought the spicy was much better in flavor. Um, you didn't notice that. No, I did. That's like the only difference. This one was spicier than the other. Mm. Um, but the burger tasted the best. Mm, okay. Yeah. I am torn between <laughs> the spicy and the burger because I do really like the flavor of the spicy sausage, but I did think the overall flavor and texture of the burger was a little bit better. It's a toss up for me. I did want to say I support Beyond Meat. I actually, I support any company who's trying to replace me. Mm. Right? So um, keep up the good work. 
Aw, that's sweet. That's yeah. a good message. Thank you, friend. Okay, bye. So anyway, that is it for our review and our taste test and for today's video. If you are interested in Beyond Meat, I will link their website down below as well as the coupons that you can print out to get your $2 off. If you wanna see more taste tests and reviews from me and Q, I will link that playlist right here for you guys to check out after this video. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'm making new videos every week. And with that, let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time. Bye.